Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of uh, XCOM 2, The Long War of the Chosen 2. My name is Saiken, this is the legendary Iron Man version of Better One of this mod. We are continuing our onslaught. It's month number three and we're, I think, already almost at mission number 20. It's just mission after mission after mission, which is cool for Let's Play, uh, but it's also exhausting because uh, you're grinding your way up uh, and it it takes a lot of time anyway smash and grab is the name of the game we need more supplies and until we liberate this area we are going to be supply starved so these are the most important missions at the moment uh, we got a huge team and i hope that our baseline should be again 10 crates i hope that we can make that happen seven to nine enemies let's go this mission smells a lot like losts. Lifting a number of supply crates out of this area, and we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders. Okay, we want to go to, uh, go onto this balcony and then start the entire uh, the entire mission. Good, we're moving in. There's never someone upstairs. Running. Go, go, go. Zirkem, Roby. Dark Tower Noxus. Let's move everyone. Stepping off. Time to motor. Go, go, go. I'm wondering when we're going to see the or when we have the first contact with the Chosen. We haven't seen anything from their side yet. Probably we're not even a match for them, so that's why they simply don't bother to deal with us yet. Position confirmed. Calmly opening the door. Moving further in. But I hate it when you need to tell your operators not to jump through the window and break concealment. On my way. Running out. Good. So everyone moves further in. I'm going to take the other balcony very soon. Scanning. Moving ahead. That's actually advent movement there. I think the losts haven't spawned yet. They will come as soon as the explosion secure. And since we do have headshot now, you can rest damn sure that explosions will occur and we are going to use them to our advantage. Orders confirmed. On the move. Okay, so Zirkim moves up to here. On the move. Covers blow. I got eyes on Advent troops. Totally unnecessary.
Good, Dark Tower moves up. Let's give uh, teamwork over. Sirkim can kill the drone much more efficiently. Let's get our sniper in position. Alright, I think we started just a tiny bit early. Which means our 10 uh, boxes are now much harder to obtain. On Overwatch. And I'm not sure if we can even do that on this map. I would say the new baseline should be probably 6 boxes after the first mistake being spotted out and uh, this here is not going to happen okay on the move Okay, time to double move. Good to go. All right, I'll go. Let's leave Zirkim up there together with our sniper. Okay. One of the nine enemies is already down, which means we're looking for a maximum of eight further enemies. Just airlifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. Oh yeah, thanks, Bradford. Edwin seems to be super far away. Good, so we've just found one spot where they are. They're standing right here. Okay, let's move up. Gotta deal with the loss sooner or later anyways. It's one down, two down. Three down. Let's fortify ourselves just in case someone reaches us. Uh, reaches us. All 
All right, Zirkin moves up here because we need him. I think we have a much better management of the losses now with the Between the Eye uh, resistance order. Only problem with the loss is I can't continue scouting. I can handle that. Good. And since we do have a uh, competitive, we actually should be fine when they approach us because we can repost. Alright, lots of overwatch. And Advent began to mark two further crates. We haven't even started approaching the first crate. That worked out pretty well. Wow, an Overwatch uh, attempt actually worked. Something must be wrong. Moving over to here. Hostile targets in sight. Spotting Advent out, and now it's time to pull with our sniper, who of course can't see them. Yeah, too far. Yeah. There's a crate right next to where they stand. Could go here, but I don't want to uh, to risk that much for the crate. Okay, so this here will trigger them. Hopefully they're taking some cover. So this here should not hit the crate. Actually do something uh, plausible. Away. Wow. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, before we go in, let's start killing them.
So. Dark Tower. 40% into full cover. Didn't work out. Zirkim is a bit too far to the back, specifically when we're moving in. Back 31, I'm not going to do that. I will instead suppress him. And we'll mark the supplies. Yay! Our first supply. Oh, shit. not know that the supplies <laughs> that the supplies would make us visible my bad I did well I, I knew it I just did not think about it Well, you know, I mean, we could go here, actually kill him. Yeah, why not? It's probably triggering another pack. But we are in cover. Did he just get the undying loyalty? Yes, of course. I'm going. Yeah, I didn't get it. Okay, 80% shot Smith. My sniper can't see it. Noxus moves up. What's over there? Well, the preview told me that he could see something. Apparently that was not true. to get slammed again. Thanks to undoing a dying loyalty. Oh, I forgot we we have the melee um, retaliation. Well, in which case, jokes on you. Ok, 
Okay, so that worked surprisingly well. No problem, we boss. got two additional. Uh, we got two additional crates right here. But we should plan ahead because soon we need a, an evac. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Is it clear? All right, Roby, let's get up here as well. I'm, I'm trusting you here. Roger that. Getting our sniper into a little bit of a better position. I feel that the aiming angles um, for him haven't been really optimal. Ragtime moves up. Noxus Overwatch. And Zirkim moves up as well. Don't want to trigger anything, so we're staying a bit back. Reload. Overwatch. Wouldn't be surprised to see some loss soon. One more grenade, and the loss will uh, appear again. I suspect that the other crates are further down there, because can't seem to see another one that we would have missed here, or in here. Six more crates to go, and all of them seem to be in the area um, back here. Heading there now. Roger that. Okay, let's move up and stay as a team. On the move. We're not going to go there because I got the distinct feeling there's a pack in there. Okay, as for the sniper, I think this here is the best position. No need to ask twice. And from there, he will have all of the aiming angles that he needs. Reloading. Good to go. So that's three, six, seven. Uh, yeah, there could be a pack of two. Well, there is a pack of two. And by the way, awesome timing. How all of them, all of a sudden, begin to appear. And the loss, of course. If some of the losses at least attack the sectoids, that would be good.
Okay, so last turn, everything was fine. This turn, we're fighting against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 17 enemies. Okay, time to engage. I think we're not getting a single further crate here, unless we kill all of them. It's time for a rocket. Dark Tower activates his fortify. Let's move up and see that we can kill at least one more here. Advent Sentry down. It's one. Uh, and to miss, unfortunate. Starting our fortifier again, the sectoids are probably not going to use their probably not going to use uh, their uh, normal weapons. Okay, we're doing an overwatch here. And let's kill this guy, Undying Loyalty. We can protect ourselves because we can defend ourselves against the attack. Conditioning and agility is good. We will probably not have the firepower to get to the supply crates. Taking 10 as a baseline was astronomical, it was just a, a utopia. 
uh, taking six is probably even too ambitious with the loss and this massively large sized map Mind spin. No, 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 no. Please, no. He's maybe going to take a shot. No, just overwatching. But the loss will break his overwatch. Parry. Very nice. Very nice. All right, the losses are storming in. Feels as if we couldn't even kill them fast enough. Very nice. That's a good one. Come on, another hit. Okay, this is bad. Good. Zirkim needs to clean up. Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. We do have pistol shots here. Which do not require ammunition. 99% pistol shot missed. Okay. We're still not done. Moving up to here. Knife fighter doesn't trigger. Oh my gosh. I'm going. Let's move up here and see if our flamer this time. Okay, by the way, this here is completely fucked up. All three people should be standing here. I don't know why the positioning is so inaccurate. Try to get this guy here. Did you see that one? That guy's will love this. All right, time to kill the last sectoid. Unfortunately, reinforcements are going to arrive now. This one might be carrying something. There's another 
chest. And this one here might be the last crate that we could get. Let's assess the situation real quick. So we could get this crate. And it really seems as if this is the only crate left here. Running. I don't even know where the others are. The map ends here, so I'm surprised to see that there is no further crate over here. Maybe over here? No. Also none inside. Okay, so they're both at the pier. Yeah. Not going to sacrifice a soldier over four intel, uh, four supplies. Position confirmed. We're moving back, and I want to get everyone out the next turn. All right, I'll go. Headed there now. Come on it. So the fights against the loss already have been better. Like, I feel we this time had a pretty decent uh, handle on them. But the map here is very, very unforgiving for, for the mission type that we were just playing. Location confirmed. I'm not really seeing how, how much faster I could have moved. Of course, at the beginning we could have no um, tried to be... Uh, more stealthy and move in deeper but given that the first two crates have already been like very very far within the map how is that supposed to even work Good, we may or may not trigger Overwatch. Well, one grazing shot. Okay, so we got we we're getting out with four crates and a lot of kills. To bring it in reinforcement. Okay, a lot of environment seems to be breaking down. My computer is choking extremely hard. Well, so much for our opportunity to kill someone. Ready to okay, I'll go. Roby.
takes the final shot, of course, misses. We're not going to hit with the SMG anyways. Let's just get out of here. No point in trying to kill the guy behind full cover. Good! And that has been our supply raid. Oh no, our smash and grab. Flawless mission, 35 kills. Very well done. And here we go. Let's see how many promotions we got. Exactly zero. Well, that's good. Yeah, 22 supplies, a little bit of alloys, a little bit alloys. But we got some good loot. Lots of PCSs and an alarm core, which is essentially worth uh, 20 more. So let's shortly see about the PCSs. We got quite a bit. Uh, most of our prime team already has a PCS. Dark Tower Noxus, Code Use. Oh, he's fine on hit points. But there is nothing wrong with an agility one. Galen Post should probably get the health one. And whom are we giving the willpower to? You know what? Willpower isn't bad for anyone. Specifically, if they are being the target of a mind spin from time to time. Okay. We still have supplies, and I will use them um, once. Once Edgar Allan Poe is back from his covert ops mission, because then we're going to field our squad. Still two days to go, that's fine. Should, let's do just a tiny bit of healing. Oh, and by the way... Supplies are good, but we know new missions are popping up. So everyone back to Intel, please. Same here. Everyone is already on Intel. Down here, everyone's recruiting, that's fine. Some of our people are a little worse. 
us for wear after that last covert action, but if we give them time to rest, they'll be good. We got 12. We got 12 um, um, ability points. We we'll probably should uh, we should get the skirmisher. I like uh, I like the skirmisher, and we also got get uh, bonus mobility. So that's really good. As for the mobility, let's maybe give this here to Dark Tower Noxus. Means he can't be on the. Um, on the supply run, but or did we had anyone? Uh, did we have anyone who is like phenomenally slow? Mitch here is not as fast. The other option is, of course, to go for uh, for Jordan Fury and do the supply run without him. But I think we need him on the supply run, so. Hmm, what else? We got a promotion, that's never never bad. There's an engineer, and I think we should prioritize the engineer anyways. We can put literally a random a random schmock onto this. So let's put two of our lower level soldiers on this task. Thirteen days, getting an, an engineer out of it. Absolutely. Let's just hope your people can keep up. Good. That would be engineer number four. And now that we are ready, I mean everyone's here. I essentially need to come up with a really good team for the supply run. Before we do that though, I just said Edgar Alien Poe needs another health point. There you go. Good. Um, let me think through what kind of a uh, team I would like to build. Probably something with uh, two sharpshooters. And then we're giving it a go. All right, time to build. A team for a zero percent infiltration. All right, give me a second. Okay, after a few uh, attempts, I came up with this one here. I think we're going to go with Fury and uh, Shinobi Dasher here as our front line. Both of them can attack in melee, and we do have a scout with her. We do have some midline firefighter uh, we took Roby with us of course for area suppression um, and uh, you can already see that everyone has laser weapons but I also invested in one tracer rounds to give him a better chance to hit to begin with and uh, Zirkim uh, has a laser weapon as well as armor penetrating rounds we got Edgar Alien Poe uh, who just upgraded his hit points and it's going to be support slash um, uh, slash yeah, damage dealer and we finally got two uh, snipers with us in the hopes of finding good shooting angles so that we essentially can um, even attack from a pretty large distance and kind of lure the packs into us if, if everything runs as expected she will be um, stealth the entire time we unfortunately don't have um, her as an officer 
definitely needs to get the training, but I think we're fine. The only thing that I haven't yet decided is whether or not I want to do it with 0%, i.e. 45 enemies, or if, you, if we want to reduce it a bit. Because if we were to go just like that, I think we it would be higher than that. Let me think that through, and we're ending the mission right, uh, today's session right here. Um, I'll be back with uh, the uh, Operation Burning Sleep, which is essentially another uh, massive um, supply raid. Which is hopefully getting us enough money to uh, to finally um, equip everyone with decent armor and decent uh, weaponry. Thank you so much for watching today. And if you liked it, leave a comment down below. Uh, respectively, follow the channel. Thank you and bye bye.